Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through the data transmission guys. So I hope everyone knows that how data will be transmitted from one device to another device. So that we will be discussing in this lecture guys. Please understand the concept guys because this topic is repeated again in the second chapter I think so. There are multiple topics which are repeated again and again in different different units. Okay, so data transmission is is a means of transmitting digital or analog data over a communication medium from one or more devices. Okay, so data transmission is nothing but transmitting a particular data from one to another or one to many. So similarly, we are having two types guys. That is nothing but point to point or point to multi point or multi port also you can say. Point to point means exactly one device to another device. Point to multi port means one to many device. Guys, I think I have just drawn a diagram for this in some other chapter of this of this subject itself. So we will be connecting in this way guys. Here we will be having a dedicated line for these two systems and here we will be having the systems in this way like in bus topology. The in, I think in fourth unit we will be discussing all these things guys how they are connected and what they are connected. So you can draw the diagram like this. So this is point to point like dedicated slot dedicated path is here. This is point to multi port because there are multiple devices in a single path. So I hope everyone got a small idea. So now let us go through the division of data transmission. So data can be transferred in parallel transmission or serial transmission. Serial is further divided into synchronous transmission and asynchronous transmission. Okay. So now let us go through parallel transmission. So from the name we can say the data is transferred parallelly. So there will be some 8 or 16 or some n bits of data lines in which the data is transferred parallelly from the sender to receiver. So that is what the concept is here. So here all the 8 bits of data is transferred from sender to receiver. So if it is 8 bit line, so 8 bits. If it is 16 bit line, 16 bits. If it is 64 bit line, 64 bits like that. Okay. From sender to receiver in a particular moment. Okay. So it will be in this way. So the sender receiver. So he will be having dedicated 8 lines. And in 8 lines, the data will be transferred 0, 0, 0 from here. 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So all this happens at a particular moment of time. They start and they receive at the exact moment of time. So here, the thing is that we need 8 different uh, lines for 8 different bits. So that could be a problem, right? So if there are 64 bits, the data transfer may be a bit fast, but you need to establish these connections and lines. Okay, so now let us go through serial transmission. So serial transmission is nothing but here the data transmission will occur bit by bit guys. Okay. So let us assume you need to transfer 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So this data will be rotated like this and it will be sent bit by bit guys. In this way. Bit by bit and it will be received and it will be stored again in this way. Slowly like this. So here you will be finding the exact original sender, sender data and here you will be finding the receiver data. So in this way, the data will be sent bit by bit. So here we will be having a dedicated only one line communication in that only will be sending bit by bit. So I hope everyone got a small idea on that. Okay. So now let us continue. So after that, we are having synchronous transmission. I told series is divided into two synchronous and asynchronous. Please understand the meaning guys. Synchronous means here we will be having some synchronous of time. So after every complete eight bits of transfer, we'll be having some gap of time. Okay, so and we will also be having some start and finish notes guys to indicate that so sending Sending a bit one after the other without start and stop bits. Okay, sorry guys So here we will not be having start and stop We'll be having some gaps to indicating that this is the 8-bit code. This is the 8-bit code So in that way, we will be sending the data guys see here. I have just drawn box for 8-bit codes So here already 1 2 3 4 5 means already 3 bits are read, read by this and 1 2 3 4 5 6 e Here 3 2 bits are need to be sent by this so in this way, the flow control control flows guys fine. Okay. So this the receiver counts the bits as they arrive and group them into eight units fine. So even there will be a gap so that it can understand. So basically I told that we will be having start and end bits right. So that we will be having in asynchronous transmission. So here we send one start bit as zero at the beginning and one start bit at the end that is nothing but one at the end. So this method is a bit cheap, right? So instead of you giving gaps and asynchronous time zones and everything, we'll be just adding a bit in the initial and at the end. So it can understand whether the complete data is read or not. So here the transmission will be in this way. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through the differences between parallel communication and serial communication and asynchronous communication and synchronous communication. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.